Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. For the month of Spooktober, I am the Happy Creepy Homemaker, and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today, we're going to be discussing Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Bingo for the month of September. If you have never participated in Yarn Bingo, there'll be a link down below to this month's card if it's up. If not, it'll be last month's card. Um, I'm filming fairly early in the morning. I'm hoping to have this uploaded fairly early so Kayla may or may not have October's card up and her video ready for that. Um, so it's a lot of fun. Basically, she creates a bingo card and as you work your projects for the month, you can mark them off on the bingo card and see how many bingos you get. Um, I love participating with Yarn Bingo mostly because it, yeah, yeah. Hold on just a second, because he's gonna start knocking everything off that desk. So, like I was saying, um, I enjoy participating in Yarn Bingo, mostly because it gives me small projects that I can work on in between using breaks from my larger projects. Will you be good? If I put you down, will you be good? Um, it also gives me kind of, it's helped me like actually working on Christmas projects and things like that, gifts for people. Um, I mean, I'm competitive, but I try not to be hyper competitive with my, with my crafting. Um, but it is fun. I mean, just to mark off and see how much you get done over the course of the month that coordinates to what's on the card. Um, you're not supposed to use it to direct your projects, but inspiration is always nice. I think having as many forms of inspiration is a good thing. Um, but let's crack on. So I've got one, two, three, I got four bingos this month. Um, ironically, I missed a lot of the very Halloween themed parts. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how that, that worked out either. Um, so uh, if you're familiar with my channel already, if you came and saw last month's Yarn Bingo, you're already aware of the blanket that I'm working on for my mother. It's a corner to corner blanket using the Vanna's Choice in Autumn Prints. So I'm just going across, straight across this way with my projects. Um, that was the Christmas gift that I worked on. I have not finished it, but I am on my seventh ball of yarn now. Um, next one, create a pair of boot cuffs. Wow, I did that. Um, this is using the Premier Anti-Pilling and Holiday, I believe. This is one of the original colors from that anti-pilling line. It was the Deborah Nor Norville Everyday Anti-Pilling at the time. Um, yeah, I fell in love with this colorway. I've made baby blankets, baby hats, adult hats, adult blankets, boot cuffs. I think I did a pair of wristers. I really like this yarn. Um, if you've seen Amber, or not Amber, Amanda over at Undercover Yarn Snob, you saw the wristers she did using the lava colorway, which is still in their active colors, but it's very similar where you've got like the speckled band, a dark band, a speckled band, and a light band. <coughs> I love it personally. I, if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm getting over a cold. I'm still a little goopy. And uh, the more I talk, the more I dehydrate and the more, yeah, gross all the way around the board. I suppose that's really all I had to say. Just gross across the board. Um, finish whip. I did a circle dishy. Create a table decoration. Once again, playing with my cottons. I made a maple leaf doily. Um, if you watch my show and tell number 28 that will be up in the next couple days, you'll, you'll have a whole conversation about doilies. So I made a thread weight doily for Halloween. And I think in 30 years of crocheting, that's the first thread weight doily I've ever made. I've done things like this, 
but I've never done one in thread before. Um, the final on the first row is work on a blanket project. Now, I no longer have the blocks, but uh, in a couple of my videos, I mentioned doing blocks for the VA, and I shared a number of those blocks um, in my previous videos. I think I actually started some of those in August. Um, and some of those went on the August during bingo, but I did work on that this month too. I sent those blocks off to Karen over at KB Fibers. She's going to put together a blanket that will then be auctioned off. And the proceeds from that auction will go to support one of our friends, VA local VA hospitals. Um, so row two, finish a whip. I've got a half double single dishcloth. Um, this was using the Lion brand Re-Up. I did share this in my Re-Up review video a couple days ago. Create a fall amigurumi. Yeah. So I went around the hotel room and gathered everything up in a big tote bag. That's what I'm reaching into down here. Um, so I did Hocus. Um, this is a pattern written by Ella over at No Catching Name. And this is to participate in uh, hers and Amber at Ooh Ah Crochet's uh, Mal. <coughs> Create a fall scarf. Oh, these will be familiar colors. Um, using the same colors from Hocus, I am working on a scarf. Um, I think I'm going to donate this. I really like it though, so I kind of want to keep it. But um, I think I'm going to make a Delaney hat to match with the alternating green and purple. I think that'll be fun. And it's something to be fun for a boy or for a girl. Halloween does not care what you are. I uh, create a pumpkin. So I have this guy. Um, I used a pattern for this. Uh, it will be linked in show and tell number 28. Um, like I said, that'll be up in a couple of days. I did kind of go rogue with my tendrils here. Um, create a shawl in fall colors. So I'd actually made this for myself, but when this past month's knit crate came out, I was in love with all the colors, and if you're familiar with my channel once again, you were aware of the fact that after the Premier Warehouse sale, I went on a yarn ban. But I want all three colors from this month's membership crate. Now, I got the blue. A friend of mine got the boysenberry. So I am trading her this, once I have it blocked and the ends woven in, for her two skeins of boysenberry. Kind of excited. Create a hat in fall colors. That would be this one. This is also a Christmas gift. This is using the scraps from another project. Uh, I do not have a pattern for that hat. Um, all my patterns will not be listed down below. For these videos, I normally tell you to go look at other videos I've put up. Um, all of these have been discussed in my show and tell videos previous or just after this. So I would recommend checking out my other videos if you want links to the patterns. Um, next space is a free space. Finish a whip is up next. That would be this flower dishy. Uh, this is a free pattern on the Yarnspiration website. It is written for the creme de la creme cotton by Red Heart. And it's called like the flower bouquet dishcloth or something like that. Um, Cause they actually display them with them. It's like a bowl of them like this, which is actually quite cute. Probably not something I would set out unless it was doing like a guest bathroom with the dishes. Next thing uh, is share a favorite video in the group. I shared the video for Fiber Spiders tutorial on the Glorious Granny. Finish a whip. Knit dishcloth. Basic diagonal bias dishcloth. Nothing fancy. 
I was playing with the re-up here too. This is the colorway Lime. Work on a Christmas gift. Well, I'm planning on giving out a whole bunch of face scrubbies this Christmas. So I have a whole bunch of face scrubbies to go in that. Um, create a pot holder set. This is using um, Red Heart Sugar, or not Red Heart Sugar and Cream. It's Close and Clark Sugar and Cream, which is now in your inspirations. Anyway, it's in the color of mistletoe, so that's the pot holder. I have not seen but the middle. To make it a set, though, we have a little lid lifter which I still need to weave in the ends on. I'm gonna tack on the two corners just a little. I mean, if I'm picking something up though, it's not so bad because the pressure keeps it on my fingers, but I don't like how it slips off my fingers. But yeah, it's just a little lid lifter. So when you're um, like boiling water or something, you can protect your fingertips while picking the lid up, but you don't have to have like rags and everything else. I have gas a gas range at the old house and the new house. so. Keeping as much away from fire as possible is probably a good thing. And then I also made a dishcloth to go with that set. Um, so the final row, create a keychain plushie. I created a little mini pumpkin. Create a fall garland while I was having fun playing with my cotton. So I made an acorn garland. Um, I was actually thinking, I mean, not so much like garland to hang, but if I have like a bowl on that maple leaf, I can like toss this around like the candles or something like that. But I really wanted something that looked like acorns. I don't know why, but I had something very, when I saw that, I was like, I know what I want. Uh, create a pumpkin hat. I did that. Uh, I planned, I actually, so I misread the pattern on this one. It was supposed to be a baby hat and I was going to add it to my donation hats. Um, I'll still donate it, but it actually fits me. Um, so it's, a, it's substantially larger than I thought it was going to be. And then the final one is finish a whip. And I made a spooky Halloween cat hat. This one will also be donated. It's super cute. Um, I used my own pattern for the bow and there's like 900 cat hat patterns. I also had this listed. This is the um, Santa hat that I made. Um, the hat that I said is scraps from another project. This is the original project. This was one of my blueprint kits. So I got four. I got one across, two down the side, and the next, the last one going down. And I'm looking at my big old pile of stuff, my ever growing finished objects here, and uh, getting a little, getting a little overwhelmed feeling here. But, uh, it is quicker for me to film these as videos and post these, you know, here on YouTube and then share the link into the Facebook group than it is for me to sit down and try to take pictures of all these things. I have projects everywhere. The entire hotel is literally just covered in yarn. Anyway, like I said, if you want links to patterns, please check out my other videos. Most of these have been shared in my previous show and tell videos. Um, there are some that will not be up until probably the third or fourth. Um, today's Tuesday. Um, so this will go up today. Today's the first. Um, the third is on Thursday. I will try to have show and tell number 38 posted on Thursday. If not, it will be Friday before I get that online. Um, I'm hoping to get all my editing and stuff done today on it though, because we do close on the new house on Thursday and our stuff is being delivered on Friday. So I would like to uh, you know, have everything plugged in and ready to go. So all I have to do is turn it on for you guys. Um, 
So if you don't see it in the last couple weeks worth of videos, uh, show and tell specifically, wait for show and tell 38 to come out. But other than that, take care you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you all real soon. Bye guys.